Whoops. Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Uh, not been putting many videos up lately, basically because um, I've been working quite hard, been working from home and that presents certain challenges. Um, I had lots of little bits and bobs to do that weren't worth videoing to be honest. Was trying to capture a few thunderstorms this week. There's been loads of thunderstorms around the area, uh, towards Leicester and Birmingham way, they've been hit really hard, but they never came this way. So. tried to video it but nothing ever came of it they fizzled out before anything really happened so today just gonna to be working on the s3 behind me um, checking the spark plugs checking the gap on there maybe cleaning the induction air filter and just some general maintenance so uh, join me for the ride so first thing is to get the cover off now if you have an s3 and you've got the induction kit on and you want to keep the original housing the original cover um, there is a video on my channel just go and look for it um, search for I don't know a S3 cover or something like that I'm not sure what will come up but I particularly like this cover um, I know a lot of people put the TTS one on which fits perfectly on there but I like this cover I like the look of it so I retained it so first of all I'm going to have to drop the clips off and the piping off the side there so that one off there oops and that one off there like that uh, your mass sensor, disconnect that, and then basically it should pull off. Now what I'm going to have to do as well, and I'm going to have to do this off camera, is disconnect that hose there to set the induction pipe because I mounted the induction system within the cover as well. And I've got to have two hands to do this, so join me in a minute. So there you go, as you can see the engine cover's taken off and that's sitting down there. As I said, what I did was mounted it inside the actual cover itself so it all comes off as one unit not particularly difficult and I think it makes it look quite tidy uh, personal choice I guess oh wind's getting up so basically all I'm going to do now is take the rail off to the coil packs take all the coil packs out and then get the spark plugs out give me a minute so the connection rails off now a quick top tip uh, the coil packs can be quite stuck in there so, what I tend to do, and not damaging the coil packs, is get your pry bars underneath there, give them a little wiggle, like so, and they pop. Oops, good camera work. And they pop straight up. So basically, they popped up now, and there you go. Easy as that. So if you're damaging the plastic or messing around. Now obviously when you take these out, have a quick visual inspection, make sure they look okay, there's no burning to the case or anything crazy like that. Um, might look fine, but then I think they're relatively new. So, uh, right, let's get all the coil packs out and then spark plugs out. Coil packs all out. I put them in the sequence they come out in. That's just me, you don't need to. Now, another quick top tip when you're taking your spark plugs out, they're quite long reach on the Audi. And you will find that if you use extension bars like I do, they don't always hold. So do yourself a favour, get yourself a bit of tape to hold them all together. Because when you take them out, it's nothing more annoying than the socket bar dropping in and the, and the uh, spark plug actually sticking into the end there. Just makes your life a little easier. go one spark plug out three more to go
uh, all the plugs are out. Um, they're looking a little bit, uh, a little bit grey at the top there. Um, nothing that I didn't expect to be honest. Uh, the car's done a lot of short miles lately. Hasn't been for a good run for a long, long time. Uh, obviously because of the lockdown. So the odd little journey to the shops. Um, no real miles at all, to be honest. Um, now a lot of people say, um, or let's start again. A lot of people probably would like me being old school and um, get the wire brush on these but I'm under the understanding with modern plugs especially these ones which are double platinum um, that you shouldn't use a metal brush against them because it leaves deposits on there and can remove the coating that's on them as well um, so what most forums seem to tell you to do nowadays is good old car cleaner get some of that and I've got a plug gapper here and it's got a wire not a wire, a, um, a nylon brush on it. So I'm going to give them a clean up with that. Um, not go too mental. Um, give them a quick clean with that. Gap them up to 0.7, I believe it is. Uh, 0 0.70. And um, should be good. It's amazing how much you can adapt your tools when you're working in the garage. <laughs> one brush, one spark plug. Perfect. Gets right down inside there. Cleans any fragments of anything out that's down there. Yeah, household brushes. Good for everything. And of course, you can't beat a bit of fire. Just basically burning anything off the end there, including all the carbon. And there you go, the result, four nice clean spark plugs. The next thing is to gap them. Uh, recommended is to use that one, um, 0 0.70 of a mil. Let me get my head out the, uh, the light or get the camera out the light, you might be able to see it. There you go, let's try that. That's apparently what they should be about set up. Don't be, have to be exact, obviously, but close to that is good. Um, not a job I can do on camera, so join you in a minute. Well, a good job I didn't take you through that because there were all as makes no difference, pretty much bob on. So uh, next job, put them back in the car again. Um, yeah, not an exciting video this, but hey, it's got to be done. Now, obviously, when you're putting these back in again, you want to be really careful. If you cross thread them, you are going to screw your head up, and that's going to get pricey. So get them on the end of your socket like that. Gently ease them in so they hit the bottom. And then we'll screw it gently round and let, let the socket do all the work. And if you can do it by hand, which you should be able to once you've cleaned them, then just let it gently do it by hand until they seat. There you go, that one's in now. And then you don't need much. Again, alloy stuff doesn't need much. You just need a bit of a thumb on there, palm your hand on there, and then until they're snug. Simple as that. You don't have to hang off them, just get them snug. Right, let's get the rest in. There you go, all back in again, all sitting nicely in the holes and snugged up. 
Um, so now just basically get the core packs back in. Just going to get those a clean before I put them back in because they've got some dirt around the bottom of them. Uh, just make sure everything's clean. And then connect them back up again to the rail. And uh, we should be good to go. Oh, just an added bonus. <laughs> Turbo. <laughs> there you go. That's the thing that makes it all possible. All the choo-choos and all the noises along with that and several other components. Right, shut up Reeves, get on with it. All back together again. Uh, just cut the bolts to put in and then put the cover back on and give it a test run. Like I say, not a, a particularly exciting video, but yeah, anybody that's never done spark plugs before, it is dead easy, nothing to be worried about at all. And if you took this to a garage, it's gonna cost you at least an hour's labor. So yeah, your choice, you know, do it yourself or garage. But uh, as you can see, doing it yourself, a piece of pee! Just one thing you do want to watch out for is these little rubber grommets. They actually sit inside the cover. They'll probably come off and stick on here. Okay, do yourself a favour, take them off, give them a little bit of WD-40 to make them slide better and stick them back in that again because if you don't, they don't seat properly on that ridge there. So make sure they're in your cover, in that cover there, and then they'll seat back on a treat. And there you go, it's all back as if uh, nothing had ever changed. Um, looking at the air filter, I don't think it's too bad to be honest. To be fair, it hasn't been that long ago since I cleaned it, so um, mm, I don't really think it needs cleaning. Um, but the spark plugs, always good to get those to clean. So that's about it. Um, whatever you do in YouTube, or whatever your preference is to tinkering with cars, then yeah, just if you've never tinkered and never done this sort of thing before, just keep in mind it's not that difficult. It's like a big Meccano set really. It's just knowing where all the bits go and not being afraid to do it. But there's loads of stuff out there on the internet. Just study and uh, yeah, just have the confidence to go for it. You've probably just saved yourself a hundred pound there by doing that yourself. Right, catch you again YouTube. Cheers for now. And of course the only way to check what I've done is okay. Bit of that, bit of that, checking that. She's alive! Don't she sound sweet? Whoops! <laughs> she sounds a bit fruity. <laughs> <laughs>